Hello friends, this is Vijay, DevOps engineer. Today we will be learning about how to restart your Jenkins master instance. Okay. So many times when Jenkins goes into the memory issue or you have installed something on server and that needs some restart or upgrade is needed, restart is needed. So this could be a simple topic, but needed one. How do we restart? How to do a graceful restart? So I'll show you the various option to restart your Jenkins. Okay. Right now, if you see, this is my UI. If you see, this is the local host colon 8080. Okay. Whatever URL you have URL or your uniform resource locator, whatever you can say on top of that, put slash and give restart word and click enter. It will say, are you sure you want to restart Jenkins? You, as soon as you click yes, it is a forceful restart. This is not a graceful restart. But for doing this restart, you should be admin. Your user should have admin privilege. Please wait while Jenkins is restarting. Your browser will reload automatically when the Jenkins is ready. So give it a minute. So yeah, now the Jenkins has come up. You can see, right? Now the next command will be graceful restart again, give slash type safe restart. You can see it has come up automatically in restart. This R should be capital safe restart. When you click this again, one pop-up will come. Are you sure you want to restart Jenkins? Jenkins will restart once all running jobs are finished. So this is a graceful restart. That means if any jobs are running, it will wait for that. And once that is done, then only it will do the restart. Okay. So you can click on yes, since none of the jobs are running in my Jenkins. So it will immediately do the restart of my Jenkins. As you can see, it has took a minute and then the safe restart is done. So these are the two methods to restart your Jenkins from UI without installing any plugins or anything. Okay. Since my Jenkins is installed in windows, I'll tell you other methods also to how to restart Jenkins. Okay. So first, you have to uh, log in with uh, uh, log into the um, CMD command line with administrator. Open the uh, command line with administrator. Okay, command will be as you can see net stop Jenkins. That will stop the Jenkins. You can see. Let's refresh this and connection refused. It has stopped the Jenkins. Let's start it. Next command is net start Jenkins. Jenkins service is starting. Okay, it was started successfully. Let's refresh this again. You can see, please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to start. So this is the one method to start Jenkins from command line. Jenkins UI has come up. You can see, right? Another method. Since this is running on Windows, you can open services. Okay. Click on services app. It has opened all the services. Click on Jenkins. You can see Jenkins is here, right? When you click on Jenkins, it will say stop and restart. Click on restart. So it has done the restart of Jenkins. If you come here, load this. Again, the UI will say Jenkins is getting to ready. Looks like it has started. You can see it is again getting restarted. So these are the another two methods to start Jenkins from Windows. Now we are talking of, we'll be talking about the fifth method using the Jenkins CLI to start Jenkins. Okay. Gen using Jenkins CLI, actually you can do uh, anything. Okay. So for that, for Jenkins CLI, you have to download the CLI jar for that. Go to the left hand side, manage Jenkins in your Jenkins UI. Okay. Scroll down tools and action inside tools and action. There is a 
Jenkins CLI option is there. Okay, if you see, there is a command to download the Jenkins CLI jar file. For or this is this is this is the command to use the Jenkins CLI. This is the command to download the jar file. Click on this. It started downloading. Right now, let's use the command to. to restart your Jenkins okay I have downloaded Jenkins CLI dot jar here let's paste this command Jenkins CLI hyphen Java hyphen jar Jenkins hyphen CLI dot jar HTTP localhost colon 8080 web socket okay after that you have to give the authentication because it will not work since it needs a admin privilege you can give a authentication you can give a, a, a tokens okay and then restart you can see my command java hyphen jar jenkins cli url web socket auth my username and password and restart click enter on that you can see it has come out let's refresh this please wait while Jenkins is restarting so this is how you use the Jenkins CLI jar file also to restart your Jenkins I hope you guys are clear on how to start Jenkins these are the five methods to start Jenkins on when your Jenkins is installed on Windows box Suppose if same thing is installed on Linux box, for that there is one simple command. If that is installed as a service, you just have to do. I do not have a, a Linux box open right now. You can just fire service Jenkins restart. This command will restart your Jenkins on your Linux box. For checking the status, you can fire service Jenkins status. So this is how we restart the Jenkins for any change to get affected. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.